In this video, we're going to go over five amazing portfolios that you guys can download on Figma so that you can start preparing your online portfolio. If you guys are new here, my name is Arna Ross and I'm a product designer. And my mission here on this channel is to help you guys become better designers as well. Now let's get into the video. So the first portfolio we're going to go over is Visual Portfolio. And again, all these portfolios are going to be in the, in the community so you guys can download them and change all these images to fit your projects and your portfolio. But I want to showcase the best layouts and the best examples of these Figma portfolios so that you guys can have a really good base when you want to start your own. Now Let's get into it. This first portfolio here is three pages, but it has a light and a dark mode. So again, if you want to have a light and a dark mode on your portfolio or your website, that's a very impressive feature to have because not a lot of people have that. And again, it's very beneficial to have all these extra features when you want to impress people. And one of the benefits of having a dark mode is that it might be better for people's eyes. It might be better if they're light or they're dark, but again, it gives people the choice to have it just by clicking this button. And you would need to build this out in Webflow or in whatever online builder that you use, but this is a great base to have. And if you you have Figma, then you know all the base points, you know all the dimensions by holding Option or Alt, and you can see what all the dimensions are in this 1280 grid or this 1280 page. So this first one here, this is the landing page. You have a title here, which is Vincent Van Gogh, Post Impressionist Painter and Artist. And I'm guessing you could obviously add in whatever you wanted to put in here for your portfolio. Maybe you have your name, maybe you have the title of your of your projects, whatever it is. So as you scroll down here, we've got two different sections here. So here we have a section that explains a little bit more about the project. We have some more text down here, which I guess would be sort of a body text. If this was an H2, this would be more of a paragraph text that is heavier and goes more into depth about your project. And then down here, we have the profile picture of the person and some important information. Maybe this could be your CTA, this could be some awards that you've won, things like that, right? So as we go on here, we see that there's two more pages here, one in dark mode, light mode, and then again, dark mode and light mode. And these are different layouts of the same exact thing. These are layouts of project pages, right? So if you want to showcase one project in specific, then this is exactly where you would do that. So this project here is showcasing a specific painting that Van Gogh did or something like that. And here you have all the dates, all the specific text that you need to add, and then some images. And if you imagine this to be your portfolio, maybe what would you add here for this text? What would you add here for the year, right? If you're doing a project maybe for Uber or for Apple or whatever it is, then you're gonna want to add the company that you work for, the date, anything like that. And as we scroll down here, this would be maybe more of a bulk of text that you would add to your own project. Down here, we've got a right arrow and a left arrow to take you to the next and the previous project. Let's go ahead and go on to the next one because this next page here is very similar to the to the previous one. So let's go ahead and check out the next one. The next portfolio here is actually my portfolio that I'll add again in the link in the description so you guys can go ahead and check it out in the Figma community. Now I've already shared this in a previous video but I've updated it and I've improved it so I want to share it again. So the first thing we see here is a hero which has my name, who I am, what I do. It has an image of, of me supposedly but in this case I decided to add a placeholder. As you scroll down we have more projects and then a plus arrow, which would take you then to a more project section, or it would just be a simple carousel where you could see more projects roll in. Then the cursor is then transformed into the circle, which has a different effect. So whenever you scroll over an image or text that is dark, it will then turn white like you see here. And that's sort of the same effect that you would see here if it was in the real site. So as we scroll down here, I have a specific section just for content creation. And with this website, I want to showcase all the work that I do, whether it's for clients, whether it's for YouTube, whether it's a podcast, whatever it is, I want to showcase everything here and that's why I have this section here. Down here we have an about me section with a drop down of all the things that I do, all the packages, all the branding, website, I do this, I do that, whatever. So in this section here we have these elements that scroll by onto the left so it's an infinite loop and whenever you scroll over it we have an image that pops up. So imagine you scroll over the illustrator image or the illustrator text then you would see a project where I used this skill or a project where I use this tool and that's kind of the idea here right. As it scrolls in you see almost like a moving portfolio and that's that's kind of the idea there. We've got a simple testimonial here, a contact form, recent blogs, and then a newsletter. Moving on here, this would be a project page CMS. So whenever you clicked on one of these examples or one of these projects here, it would take you to a specific project page, right? So you want to showcase the hero image. We want to showcase some secondary images and then obviously go on to the next projects if we want to see more of what I'm doing. And then we've got an about me page. So this would be more of a blurb of what I do, who I am, a bit more in detail than we've got down here. And that would sort of showcase all my skills, what I do, what I like to do maybe. And if you watched one of my last 
past videos where I explain all the best tactics to have in your portfolio. If you haven't, well, go ahead and make sure you watch that one right now. Here's where you also would implement some specific things about you, right? Some personal things. Maybe I explained that I like to do this or I like to do that. This is where you would add that. Then we've got a more in depth or more in detail line of my client pages. So you've got all these different clients and then an 18 more link. So this would take them to a specific link where it would showcase all the clients that I've worked for and some of the projects that I've done there. Then we've got this component, which is just a contact form. We've got the testimonial blogs newsletter again. And then this would be another simple contact form, testimonials, blog, and newsletter. So we're iterating a lot of the same components here, a lot of the same sections throughout the entire site. But that, that just makes it easy to build, easy to maintain, and everything is simple and it doesn't get old. If you guys want to go ahead and check out how I built this on Webflow, then go ahead and check the link right here or go to my real site in the link in the description. Be warned though, it's not 100% done. It's not really fully built, but you'll see this in action, which is the cool part. Let's go ahead into the next one right now. So this portfolio is much, much more simple. It's just a single page, which kind of reminds you of a newspaper or some sort of magazine. And the designer decided to build it like this just for the sake of simplicity. So here we have a small blurb about them. So we've got what they do, who they are, some of their skills. So they're a front end designer, they're a UX designer. And then also we've got some personality traits about them. So they love music, they love fitness. And then on the right side here, we've got work. But the most important thing that they want to focus on is about them, who they are as a person, who they are as a human being. So in the work section, we've got these, I guess, CMS templates, right? That would take you to a separate page, but we don't see that here. We only see this single, the single page here. And we've got three iterations of that. Then on the right side, we've got some more specific things about the person. So we've got some good readings. We've got some articles maybe, and some blogs that this person wanted to talk about. So this next one I almost found recently, and it's almost a, a simpler version of my portfolio that I have, right? This is a two page portfolio, or I guess they don't showcase what this CMS project page would look like. So you, almost three pages. It's more simple. It's, it's only two pages here. We've got a long scroll, which showcases all the projects. We've got this person's name, a little bit about what they're doing. And so the main focus about this is their projects rather than who they are as a person. But then you have an about page, which then explains a little bit more about the softwares they use, their main skills, they, a CTA, and also so a little bit about them personality wise. Now, one of the benefits of keeping it simple like this is that your clients will need to skip around through a lot of pages to find a contact form or a contact page, right? So there's only one or two pages. But again, if you were to use this as your main client lead machine, then you want it to have a contact page on every single page. So this last one here is very, very different to everything I've showcased here. It's much more colorful and there's a lot more iterations here. So this is a big file that will help you design your first portfolio and have a big idea of, of how to do that. So this design here utilizes a lot of animation to bring this full effect into, into fruition, right? The idea here is that when you scroll over or when this, this animation scrolls by, you're supposed to hover over the, the link and it will showcase the project, almost like my idea of the skills passing by or the tools and then you, you hover over that. This is the same thing except with projects. And I've seen this done a lot of times before and it's quite effective because you're forced to almost see the project when, when you go on the page. So this design is very minimal. You can see how it works on the iPhone X. There's three different versions. If you wanna have a different color of background, a different color, of the text. And then as we go more into the project page or into the selected projects page, we see that there's a almost like a table of projects, right? So we've got what is the project? Who is it for? A little bit more about the project. So we've got a nationally distributed youth magazine. And then how do they do it? What was their purpose in this project, right? So they did art direction. They did some of the code and some of the identity. Also, a really cool thing about this file is that you have also the design for the menu. And as you click down here in the guest book, it appears with something quite cool. It's almost like a text message for everyone that goes on the page. So you could potentially write write something and it would appear on this big chat box almost. So this is their about page. We've got the, hi there, I'm Simo or I'm Simon. And as you scroll by, you see that the effect is supposed to have that it changes a lot of colors. It goes from pink to green to black and it explains more about their experience, who they were and what they did in this in this project. Almost quite similar to this table here, the who, what, when, where, why. And here we have it again as different colors. We've got the contact form. We have it in mobile. So as you scroll down, we see exactly what it would look like, when the breakpoints would be and how you're supposed to sort of build it in Webflow or in WordPress, wherever you're gonna build it. And then here, this person decided to add something that I've seen a lot, which is sort of like a playground or a random sort of, I wanna put something on the website. Here's here's everything, right? It's not really curated, but everything, everything Thing I've done. And this is sort of the, the same idea. It's a simple scroll. I'm not sure if there's a hover state here, but this is the, the main idea, right? You, you want to put in all your projects and showcase everything that you've done without having to, to care too much about it being on your main, main site. If you guys have any questions about how to build your portfolio, then go ahead and make sure you watch this video of how I built my own portfolio. And also leave a question down below if you have it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys have any questions, make sure you leave them down below. Subscribe if you want more videos like this, and I'll see you guys on the next one.